Kwame here and today we're gonna learn how to create uh, exterior rendering using LUSCOR so the first thing you need to do is to go in LUSCOR here on the download page and download the lastest version 2.5 and note that uh, it's working with 2.92 so we're gonna use uh, 2.5 and 2.92 for this tutorial when you have this done make sure in your installation part that you have uh, also the lusco library setup here and the folder you see here is the folder where you will find uh, all the model you downloaded or uh, all the model you buy on the blender market uh, side so when you download your model on the blender market you just go to this folder and you know, say and inside this folder you will find a folder called model and you just copy simply the blend file not the thumbnail because the thumbnail is already on the server you copy simply the model inside of the model uh, folder inside of this let's call online library big folder and it's done when uh, this part is done you get the add-on here on the end panel your let's call online library if you have the 2.5 version you also get this uh, new button which is the update table of content you click on it if you have the internet connection enabled it will uh, update all the thumbnail and the new available uh, asset we just made with uh, let's call because we have pretty new thing like for example all the grasses and weeds and we also have uh, some uh, trees in case you don't uh, know okay we have a lot of tree tropical and palm tree and so on and we have also have a lot of new furniture that you can get here you see okay new bed and and such kind of thing and as uh, your connection is going you will the add-on we upload all the thumbnail for example this one is not ready as you restart uh, blender you will get all the thumbnail from all the thing here okay when you have everything set up make sure that you understand how everything works you just click and drag everything inside of your your project and here you have two button by default is in link mode in this mode you are not allowed to modify uh, the shader the the geometry of the file you just append and you cannot modify it but if you are in append mode you can modify your folder so we're gonna work in this mode append mode we make sure we are in the score also and we're gonna start uh, the project you see on the beginning of the tutorial and uh, you find this house here it is downloadable in up and mode you click on it you drag it and your scene and you get something like this in your case probably the add-on will start downloading you will see the big green box and make sure that the box is completely filled the download is proceeded correctly once done you end up with this say, uh, thing this big house is already modeled and you have also the main shaders applied to the house so we can start to work with the first thing i usually do with my scene is to simply uh, disable the parenting we have uh, with the 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 empty here i also enable for you the screencast here so you can follow me okay so you tip control plus and you get everything here alt p to get um, to clear the parenting and you delete this guy here the first thing we need to do is to certainly change the add the is how i can call it add a camera yes add a camera and i will work with you on the front here in this part of the house so let me add a camera here 
and increase the size of the camera by 50 and rotate the camera on the axis as you can see the the original uh, uh, size of the length of this house is pretty small so even in reality if you are going to make some um, a view for this house you will need a pretty wide angle so 50 is completely too much for it so you need also to cut down the foliage here the geometry to see something okay we cut something like this and we can move our camera and also we need to change here the format of the camera so we see bigger thing but still you see that we are not covering all the thing i want my camera to see a lot of things so i get for even small value here so i get a wide angle okay and i can continue to cut through the geometry Control b to add limit to what my camera can view and also make sure that the crop to render is activated i don't have any hdri as we start the project we are in sky mode so i add an hdri you can go in hdri haven to get any kind of hdri i select this one and maybe we are good to go but as certainly we have some classes and things like that i usually tend to increase the total path to 24 and make it for the specular too and we have a pull here so just enable the clamping i assume that something like 20 should work because i mainly know this scene so 20 work for this one and we can start with it and you see <coughs> i am still on the cpu at the beginning okay this is what we have we have to work a bit here to cut through the geometry even more because of the displacement on the geometry here we see through here so i need to be more aggressive here maybe two meter i don't know yes let's cut here okay go back to the rendering and the first thing you will need to add is the grass on your terrain so go here i have already prepared this uh, place this uh, geometry so you can use it to to make uh, your terrain so your grass field so for that we need to add um, one of the grass we have here on the library okay grass and for this kind of thing i want to have a mix of grass and as you can see we have uh, here we have single species and with this one which is wild grass feed we have multiple species that we, we can uh, mix uh, together so just add this guy over here so he's the bit far from the original object and simply I do the same control plus and select the parenting so I can select this guy select first your geometry and select this guy now okay done and as you can notice there is uh, some subdivision and displace on this guy you can maintain it if you want some deformation and thing like that but as it is for this tutorial i will um, just disable the displacement and uh, keep the uh, ge geometry subdivision model to simple okay i will also tell you that there is a group vertex group on it and you need to apply this vertex group to your geometry here assign otherwise you will not see the grass and all the assets appear on top of your model so i need now to delete this guy here the vertices here and make the center of the object in the middle here okay 
and here there is already a shader which is default one so this is the shader applied to all the geometry so i chose the ground shader which is properly made for this kind of uh, ground i also unwrap my uh, uh, land on the project view so i have uh, everything ready for the thing look like there is some kind of uh, string geometry here i don't know why but let's uh, see maybe m by distance nothing okay it's all good you can also see uh, your thing let me save this guy here okay you can see how the texture is applied to your geometry here okay and i think we are good to go okay nice so this is good and we also have all the kind of uh, species of uh, weed and grasses here for the moment all is enabled at the render so i will disable everything and i only need the clover fields and the grass so clover field this is this uh, one and i need the grass which is this one so first one grass here enable increase the number here and i will also reduce the number of uh, children okay so we have less repetitive pattern and I need the clover field. We double the the number here, and also reduce the uh, number of children. So, because the original size of the imported mesh is uh, 30 meter, and we have a bit less space uh, space here, so just make some adjustments and still we don't enable it so i just click here to enable and we can go in render mode and see all the changes we just applied i'm still on cpu to avoid any kind of crash due to uh, memory limit on gpu okay seems to be working correctly but as you can see we have two small grasses here so i would need to increase the size of the grasses so they look a bit bigger and uh, appear where we want so let's stop the render and go back again on the loud and uh, need to triple the size of this guy here okay and uh, this guy over grasses render uh, 25 should be enough look how it is for the moment and it should be good i think this time okay great it is working uh, as we don't uh, let the displacement and the subdivision thing we may lose a kind of uh, randomness on the, the the ground so you can play with it on my original uh, render I have just let the displacement and all the stuff to make it a bit wildish so to my taste uh, we can uh, still increase the size of the grasses so we have a better looking grasses and it is it look less wide so i come over here and increase the grass size and maybe yes it's, and i think i should uh, move these vertices a bit so the grass don't uh, go through the wood okay i think it's okay now let's try again so if you also want and also you can support the asset making on patreon we are making uh, you just support all the free assets like uh, 
all the new shader we are constantly adding uh, recently we just add uh, 75 new shaders i just wait for the developer to add this one on the on the server so you can access it and previously we also add uh, a lot of shader so you can support so we can make uh, even some uh, 3d asset for free for everyone okay okay so we are back and i see that uh, the grass is correct here i can even move a bit the grasses here to don't go through the, the wood and i think for this part it will be okay okay here nice and the next part is to add the hedges here and you also have uh, a model for that you go in plant here and uh, there are two uh, two model just take this one and as we do for the grasses it is the same uh, same thing i just select the empty i hit ctrl plus alt p clear the trans uh, the the parenting delete everything here you can also delete the collection here to keep everything clean and you select this guy here okay nice you select also this guy okay and simple moment can erase all the thing here okay and now we have our leaf only on the parts we want you just also have to look for the sh for the shader here it is this one we don't need that let's add a new one which will be transparent or we don't need to make any shader at all you just come over here on the setting and you have in a render it is called show emitter we don't want to show the emitter so we don't show him but just in case let's add a new shader we make it uh, null so transparent okay okay completely transparent so we don't see all the geometry but only the leaf and let's go to render and see how it's appear again i'm not that i'm still on the cpu i don't have the noise uh, applied okay so quickly we have uh, everything but we still need a bit more uh, a bit more uh, leaf on the edge so I'm gonna add this okay just uh, switch to let's add this here in the viewport okay we have a lot of them here so this is enough uh, just add some children it can be a bit slow depending of your performances so before you do that you can uh, simply disable the visibility in the viewport so you don't get uh, slow down by by this
Okay. Okay. I just disable this. So I reduce this one to simply 10 and zero here. Okay. So we have uh, a bit more leaf on our on our edge. It's the render again. Okay. It is loading everything. And yes, we have uh, enough of um, enough leaf to cover this part but you can see that um, the leaves because they are a bit more here and uh, completely compacted there is not a lot of light going through the leaf so I need to increase the to make the, the leaf a bit more clear so how you can do that you just come over here on the shading and if you remember well just take the name here uh, the name of the what is the asset here mm, it is in plant yes and it is this edged so this one and this one is using the same uh, shader you find in uh, a tree here which is this one which is color book and layer so i will come here add new shader because we delete uh, everything related to the particle here i will search for the yes you see book and layer this one is the shader applied to the leaf here so here I need to increase the okay now I can grab because when it is uh, enabled you can barely select anything here so just disable it and uh, in material here you have a controller here to see to make the leaf brighter or darker so I just increase by two yes so i get a bit brighter leaf and i think that this will be okay for now and after the grass and the edge we will also add the trees and also all the exterior asset like sofa and chair this part will be faster uh, it is just drag and drop maybe change some color anything like that okay great now we have uh, a bit brighter look here okay and maybe we can make our hdri a bit more uh, powerful and this will help us to bring more light to even the shadows and things like that this is interesting okay the next part i remember that in my test uh, i get this rotation to the uh, 26 which will bring a better look okay and uh, the next step is what let's see we have the edges we have so now we go for the the older plants so for example i have a palm tree here i go over here for the tree palm tree and uh, i can take this one for example to change uh, everything a bit put it over here and for this one i don't need to remove the the empty because it is a single object there is no particle so I cannot be confused anyway so this one is good it's pretty large trunk okay not a big problem I can simply select it and uh, 
maybe modify it a bit s shift z maybe change here okay change the thing okay s shift z okay so we get something a bit thinner okay nice and uh, we also need the three let's see the leaf if they, we have uh, you see here the leaf are a bit darker depending on your project and your hdri you will have to increase or reduce the the leaf uh, power the leaf you make it a bit light up you increase the light here five or six seems to be a good value okay so this value goes straight to the transmission one so it's good nice and the next tree will be all the long tree long and straight tree you find in tree section which is this one i take all of them okay so we have more variety here okay nice and for this project I just uh, make uh, just give them more more leaf but smaller so I go for the double and uh, I reduce the size here to one the same for this one and let's select everyone here and select this modifier one click and normally I cannot do copy to select it sadly but still increase double the number mm, this one is good we reduce also the size of this one here double the number mm, already one mm maybe point 0.9 okay double the number okay very bit beautiful so go here and i want to scale this guy okay nice and uh, scale this guy also also this one and uh, just let's put them just want to select everything okay okay alt p okay i can simply remove them don't need them at all okay so now i can simply drag and drop every tree here okay okay and the fourth here we'll select all of them make sure that they are visible here nice mm. put them a bit down okay also copy them to this part so we make sure that they are still visible even on the other side we can rotate them to change a bit the layout okay put them on the edge so they are not completely visible and uh, nice i think so and i need to add another tree this one is going to um, add some change and some color this one will be the bookend layer okay which is where it is no it is here this one and this one i like both of them or this one and this one depending of your taste i will take this one 
first taking a bit of time but it's coming select them uh, control plus alt p remove everything okay great i select only my tree g shift z i can move it here it's a bit heavy because uh, there is a lot of particle on it but you can select it and uh, uh, turn everything here in uh, and shape viewport display change it to bound okay it is working and uh, this select it okay you can now select everything here and click delete okay mm, for the tutorial i will just keep uh, a single one just move it over here mm, it is still slow so just go over the place here and disable the visibility of the particle and go to solid view so we see all the okay it is easy to handle now we see the branches but not the leaf so it is much easy to handle shift z and i keep the trunk inside of the edge okay and i can duplicate it on this axis and rotate it a bit so we have some change and we copy this guy over here we show the back this time okay nice and let's do the same here okay alt d always so it is the same tree it will be like an instance and be uh, easy on the it will be easy on the hard drive and the fill will be lighter so still copy past copy pass alt d like this and small change like this okay get this guy over here okay 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 i think that we have uh, all the trees and think we need now a render to see how it is looking okay oh, i hope that uh, it is easy to follow okay not also that you can uh, change uh, the size of the leaf the color and of thing like when you are working so it will give you more uh, detail and more personality to your work so don't uh, be afraid to modify the file the look and so on okay now we come to the stage where we need to increase the the light mm -hmm. so we have a bit more light inside of the, the render okay okay don't uh, worry for the pool we will come here i will reduce also the size of the trunk of this palm tree here and uh, increase the light over here 2.5 a bit more powerful and reduce the trunk here and i think we are done for this one and also yes as you remember you should remember this tree have some dark uh, can have some dark leaves so just take this one bougainvillea Bougain layer one which is the second leaf particle and just increase the light here which is 0.5 which is too small so go for two like uh, for the hedge 
and you have the flower also yes and increase this flower to three okay so we have much more light uh, clear and colorful thing to see okay so i think uh, for all the part here it is good and i will also add some some detail here but before that let's uh, modify this guy to make it uh, more suitable for our project okay s shift z and a smaller trunk nice okay nice s to increase mgz to make it down to the ground okay i think that it's gonna be good and also let's um set up the caustic cache first go to cache photon gi cache and disable indirect like and only caustic cache 20 million pretty overkill for a simple pool so i go to this value I change this one here it's good and to reduce this one to two here don't really need a um, periodic update but if you want you can keep it but disable it and maybe we should enable light tracing also and uh, for the caustic cache to be efficient i have disabled the cache on on the wall here so i have the cache computed only for the pool so i don't waste a lot of uh, energy here but i just share with you how it will be before i make this change okay because we don't uh, disable the cache on the wall material uh, all the mm, the photon will go to uh, on all the surfaces on the the wall and all the thing and we will lost uh, all the quality so after this render i will show you how to improve this uh, issue we are in the computing cache computing and soon we will see the render okay at the time that you enable the cache you see that you have uh, a brighter pool and also the the plants are looking brighter because we just increase the the color of this plant which is kind of a bit so dark most of the time okay maybe we should reduce a bit the the hdri power but still you see that uh, even if we don't uh, disable the the caches on the wall we have pretty good performance even on cpu we are still on cpu okay so what i'm going to do to improve the performances is to go over here and this shader is applied to a lot of uh, geometry here so i disable it here and also all the surfaces with uh, I can check this is for example the floor I don't want the caustic cache to be on the floor and also all the surfaces here yes I've created a, a material which is cache top and I just apply this material to all the geometry I don't want uh, light cache to be computed in so just disable it here so we have only this for the pool stuff you see here okay the tail of the caches and also maybe this guys here okay i think that it is good for now 
and we pretty have a good uh, look for the moment and uh, now you can play with the library and add uh, some uh, plant on the upper side you can add uh, this free for example or this one okay you can put them individually here let's go in uh, the upper view and put it here beam take this guy here good take this guy go here great I want to put them inside of the wall and uh, take this guy for example okay I hope that I'm on the top of the roof just say uh, this guy and maybe here shift s crystal to select no shift s selection to cursor shift s selection to cursor okay great okay i can continue to add more and more stuff but you understand the 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 concept so okay I put this guy here select every guy here, shift s selection to cursor and i can spread them over here this guy over here and uh, alt d x alt t again s okay alt t okay now i select this empty control plus and uh, select the empty and select one of this flower and we're gonna randomize the the size and position thing like that go to randomize transform you can also use a particle system to do that and uh, we're gonna randomize the rotation in the x axis a bit okay we're gonna change the size we do it evenly okay 0.5 not too much 7 okay and let's change the, the guy here 25 and here not too much 10 okay okay we can reduce the overall size duplicate as uh, okay something like that and uh, okay okay and thing like that okay i think this is good for now okay you can play with it like you want and make your own decision and your own design i hope i think that for the trees and the plant it is good for now and now come the time for the uh, furniture so we switch to this part and go for the furniture first thing i have added this guy nice guy rotation on the mouse wheel okay okay what is it okay good view i also use this guy this one
okay one here select the empty control plus alt d y axis and it's one eight no you have to switch to to switch to yes this one okay okay good now good placement uh, yes okay i think you are good here then i need to change the color okay i firstly change this one okay this color over here and i want a beautiful yellow okay on this nice yellow here okay nice yellow okay okay take the name copy it come over here i want to change the uh, the shader we have on the sofa here you see this uh, currently this is what we have on this uh, guy so I want the same color here on this guy here so I just change this one just tip the name I have already copied here and uh, it is all over the place but you can see that uh, we don't get them on all or other sides so we just need to go back to the first one okay just tip the name this guy and go over here copy everything here select every node control c come over here you have this guy disconnect you don't need even to disconnect first just control v to add uh, the new one and as soon have you have um, this checkbox active then uh, it is this one which is working not this uh, currently current one so now we have uh, the same shader for all the stuff here and let's add a table furniture again small table let's go for which one the white one mm, yes the one the white one so let's add this guy in the middle okay and now we need uh, some stuff here mm. bim, 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 bim. yes i've been using this uh, you can increase the the view here for easy navigation 30 like the old blender <laughs> and uh, go to add a, a simple table we need this table yes oh yes and we need the a chair we need a chair take this one okay great alt d to duplicate the chair again again and again shift chair alt d again to duplicate and the fifth chair okay okay inside here you have the kitchen and you can uh, continue yourself to to add uh, all the uh, assets you can find uh, here in the kitchen let's say this guy here okay we take the guy and we place it inside okay we have a pretty big uh, space so we just need to cover it like this good good and 
I need to turn off the oven light. There is a light inside because of the light cache. Uh, the caustic cache tend to focus too much on this kind of light, so I don't want to kill my performances. So turn off the light here, and you also have. Uh, You can add this uh, sink here. Okay, select this guy. Go over here. You need a boolean. Put the boolean uh, upper and uh, select uh, a file name SS. Check yes. Okay, fast. let's go up a bit yes you need to go up to reveal the the geometry yes it was that okay the first one is pretty good for this kind of stuff and you can also add uh, all the kind of asset you want and it should be okay working okay okay good and we need uh, just the tape here this one is good enough okay okay nice interesting there is a table here but it is a simple tutorial to show you all the principles so i think that you understand everything and you will be able to replicate it so i just say i want to reduce the power of the light here mm. i think everything is good now and we go back to the render again so now hit the render button Uh, I'm still on CPU for the reason that I just installed uh, Blender 2.9 and Blender Score 2.5 on this computer and I don't want to go through the uh, uh, Score compiling uh, time uh, the first compile you need to do before to use you use the, uh, the engine so i just go for the cpu on your side if you already go a step forward and uh, have this uh, compiling stuff done then you can go for your cpu and get uh, a lot of speed for the images you get on the beginning of the tutorial on the video uh, i just made it with uh, with my gpu on blender 2.83 so you can do the same easily so everything look fine we have pretty good speed for cpu still and uh, what can can we do again maybe just add uh, the launcher on the, on the space here and i think it is okay okay I can eat the noise so for the final uh, image you can see something pretty good and uh, I hope that you understand everything and that you will uh, enjoy making stuff with this uh, library and with LuScore also and if you have any kind of question uh, don't uh, be afraid to come on the forum and ask uh, all the community and the user they are pretty uh, helpful and they want to make you progress so don't worry just come and you will just find solution for your issue okay just drag this guy okay and maybe this one no <laughs> just duplicate this guy here okay nice 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 for the render okay last render 
okay after simply two minutes of rendering i can stop go through the the noise the noising down and switch here and not too bad for a cpu on such a huge project okay okay thank you for watching this tutorial and thank you for all the guys supporting me on patreon because of you we have been able to build these uh, houses and make it available for everyone to download and make test stuff with uh, the score the library and show us what you can do thank you for watching and see you the next time